definitely from 1947, when an alien spacecraft apparently crashed in Roswell, New Mexico, we they all seen news of flying saucers all years long. But 2019 was one of the greatest years in terms of UFO sighting, at least in our modern day. The last time I remember aliens was in the news a lot it was 2006, the year of UFO visits at O'Hare Airport. And before that high profile news came in 1997, called Phoenix Lights, when a large triangle appeared to be suspended in the sky. In this video we have an overview of the most important events of space aliens in year 2019. In January, documents leaked from the Pentagon that revealed the Department of Defense's budget for projects on UFOs, wormholes and a variety of extraterrestrial subjects. The Defense Intelligence Agency released 38 investigative titles January 18th from the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. The existence of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program in 2017 was announced by various media. And then it was reported by Fox News and other media that the Pentagon had, at the request of the former inventor, set up a covert program to investigate the UFOs. Although Pentagon spokesman said the UFO program ended in 2012 and rejected it, but release documents in January prompted the United States to officially launch as the Space Force in December. The U.S. Navy subsequently announced that, it was preparing new instructions for pilots and other personnel to deal with unidentified flying objects. According to Politico, the Navy in a statement in April cited the main reason of the instruction, there have been numerous reports of unidentified flying object entering recent years under various military controlled areas. Former US Under Secretary of State Christopher Mellon expressed these flying objects in May as unexplained concerns. He said, the existence of UFOs are clear, this is no longer a question. The question is, why are they here? Where do they come from and what is the technology of these devices that we see? But in September an event started. This event known as the Storm Area 51 first started with an invitation to an event on Facebook with the slogan they can't stop all of us on September 20th invited people to enter the Area 51 to see the extraterrestrials. According to the New York Times, a spokesperson for the Academy of Stars Sciences, in September firmly said that we had obtained a sample of exotic material from UFOs but he did not elaborate. Let us remember the mysterious object that entered the solar system in 2017 and left the solar system again by passing through the Earth. At the time it was thought to be a UFO.
Later that month, the U.S. Navy acknowledged that three UFO footage released by TTSA were genuine. TTSA then signed a contract with the U.S. Army for extraterrestrial exploration. But something strange happened in November. Two anonymous and very strange individuals called on Navy officers who witnessed the 2004 incident, known as the USS Nimitz UFO, to destroy the evidence. The incident was a collision with an anonymous flying object by U.S. fighter pilots carrier strike in 2004. But 13 years after the incident in December 2017, the infrared video of the collision was released to the public. According to the Washington Post, the video was released by former intelligence officer Louis Elisondo in a fight against freedom of information from the UFOs, which the government kept quiet until finally, on September 17. The US Navy acknowledged that three videos are real and anonymous flying object are UFO. In December the University of Manitoba announced in a statement, Canadian author Chris Rukowski donated more than 20,000 UFO cases reported over the past three decades, plus 10,000 UFO-related documents from the Canadian government. Some of these documents are among the most documented UFO cases in Canadian history, including the Falcon Lake incident. Let's remember what Stephen Hawking said. He had previously warned not to look for aliens in space, as they could result in human destruction. According to reports of sighting the UFOs, and finally the news that Trump announced in December the formation of the Space Force, we can say that, which we have listened to his words. reports of suspicious objects sightings by various people around the world, to the National UFO Reporting Center from 1 to 22 December was 422 item, which was unprecedented. According to the National UFO Reporting Center, one of the reports states on Jan 23 at 22.48 p.m. Two witnesses while driving along Randall Crowley Road saw, a number of lights appear to be stationary in the sky. One of them filmed these objects with his cell phone. In early October, NPR reported that five cows were mysteriously killed on a farm in Oregon. But what made this mysterious was that, there was no drop of blood in the cow's veins and that their genitals, and tongue had been surgically removed. After the news came out, the possibility of these animals being abducted by extraterrestrials became stronger. On May 18, a video clip from Moscow, Russia, filmed with orange fog was released. In this video, when the camera zooms in we see a collection of black objects slowly moving around the moon. The cameraman says, they are not near the moon because there is no shadow. They are between the earth and the moon, but they are not far from the moon. They are not small in size. Alien life expert Scott Waring believes that space aliens are constantly traversing the moon. He referred to a few months ago, when they saw two UFOs close to the moon by the Turkish telescope side, all this evidence is just from the side of moon that visible from the earth, imagine that what's going on the other side of the moon that we can't see. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to receive more videos.